Pompiani, and we are so ready for another episode of From the Top, presented by Armina Stone. And I am always excited with who I have sitting next to me, and I'm extra excited today. We have the beautiful Megan Steele and her wonderful husband. Hey, Bobby. This is Bobby Steele, and Bobby is the owner of RJ Steele Construction, and you two are just one of my favorite couples, so I'm so happy you're both here. Thank you for having us. Yes. We look forward to this. So first, I want to go back to the beginning because I always love love stories. And since you two are together, I want to know how you <laughs> met because you have a great background too. And I know you were into hosting and modeling yes. and you're so gorgeous. You know, that's so easy to. Thank you. Oh, yeah. But t- tell me about you, Megan, and then we'll get in. We'll get into your career later, Bobby. <laughs> okay. You can just sit there for yeah, a while. Just hang out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I started modeling when I was a baby. Um, my mom actually was a model, so she got us into that. And uh, that grew into doing commercials. And then from there, I started um, at 18. I um, went in, over to Tokyo, and that was my first like TV, TV hosting job. Oh, wow. And um, from there, I just kind of you know blew up for a little while and uh, came back to the States I was over there for about four years or so, and then um, I came back to California. I was out in San Diego um, for two years, and then um, I came back over to Ohio. That's where I'm actually originally from. You're from Ohio? Is that where you and Bobby met in Ohio? Yeah. Or Tokyo? No, we met in Ohio. (laughs) Not in Tokyo. Well, the funny thing is, though, (laughs) um, we both did time in Tokyo. He was in the military. That's right. Yeah, Bobby was in the Marine Corps. What a cool connection. Yeah, so, but he was there like, what, 10, 12 years before I was? Yeah. Yeah, and then I went over. And then, that is um, so cool. Yeah, so we both kind of got to experience that, which was really neat. Oh, well, you guys make such a great couple. You really do. You have a beautiful family. Oh, and thank you. Absolutely. Tell me about the company. I want to know all about RJ Steele because I know, Bobby, you have a, such an inspiring story. You help so many people and you've been through so many ups and downs in your life and your career. And you have this amazing multi-million dollar company now. How did you get to where you are today? Tell me about your backstory. Oh. Okay, thank you very much for that. But uh, I just think it's, it's true. Uh, yeah, but it's just normal for me, I guess. So to hear it is a little <laughs> different. Um, I started um, when I was young, was uh, getting in some trouble and, you know, uh, went to the Marine Corps, tried to get straightened out there, got out of the Marines, came back home and was doing the same, pretty much getting in trouble, running around with the same guys. Um, then I got got into a whole bunch of trouble, you know, and I went away for a while. And while I was gone, I, um, you know, started to kind of find out who I was and what what I was doing wrong. So I, I came home um, in 2010 and got a job with a gas and oil company. I quickly went from a laborer to an operations manager, went up to Ohio, They got transferred up to Ohio, and that's where I met Megan up there. One of my supervisors was dating her sister, and uh, yeah, we uh, we we met that way, and uh, and have been together ever since. Um, So then we transferred back down here to Pennsylvania, and in 2015, the uh, gas and oil industry was like at a low. There was some um, you know layoffs and everything like that, and. Megan and I decided to start a construction company to uh, help these guys out pretty much because that they were all getting laid off. They all came from construction backgrounds. So we started a construction company, um, named it RJ Steel Construction for my original, I mean my real name, Robert, and um, Megan's middle name is Josephine. I love that. And <laughs> our last name is Steele. So we, uh, we started to... <laughs> we started the company, and then um, I, I'll tell you what, it grew. It went crazy. We, we grew fast. We, uh, we started by painting. I think we painted a uh, bathroom and a living room for a family that we went to church yeah. with. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's so how it started. That's oh how it started. Gosh. And then from there, we got a call to go and look at this big job. And, and I'll be honest, on my way there, I didn't really know what was going on, so we Googled it. <laughs> 
figured it out <laughs> on the find fly. Anything on the Google. Figured it out yeah. on the fly and uh, made it too. happen. And then, uh, then we got lucky and met a guy named Josh Adamack from Adamack Ventures. Right. Um, we love Josh. Oh, yeah. Josh is great. Uh, we met Josh and then... From there, we started, we started painting Josh's, um, we started painting his flip houses and we started painting uh, townhouses down in um, Lawrenceville for him. From there, we went to just building them and then floor and siding, you name it, we just started doing it. And then uh, we grew, we just kept growing and growing. Um, just, and then through that, we kept meeting good, great people, like amazing people and um, you know, just everything clicked. Yeah, it all lined up. It all lined up, yeah. Now. And I love, our, I, I was curious myself, where did RJ come from? I, I was telling Bobby, my dad is so similar because his name is Robert, too. Oh, but yeah. But everybody calls him Bob, so okay. I love that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice, definitely unique. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely works. It ties in with both of you so nicely. For sure. So what have been some of the fun, big projects you've been working on recently? Um, right now we are uh, we're finishing up three more townhouses down in Lawrenceville. Um, we got nine houses going up on Grace Street in Mount Washington. We've also done a um, project up there, a Science Street project, Bailey Park, up in that area. Nice. We're we're doing two more houses up there and uh, pretty area. Oh, really nice mm -hmm. area. Recently, we just uh, we're getting ready to close on a large project right outside of Nevillewood, it's called Hawk Hill. We're gonna be building um, 19, 18 or 19 Ooh, mansions up there. Oh, nice. Million dollar price point. Mm -hmm. Brian Tessier will be our realtor. Yeah. Armina Stone will do all our stone work. I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, a it's a great collective effort between a lot of good people to yeah. make it happen. Well, I know you two are, have such a great relationship with M. Ray and his wonderful fiance, Andrea. Yes. What have been some of your favorite projects that you've collaborated with Armina Stone on? Well, we're sitting in one of them. Uh, <gasps> oh, the best. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Bobby. That's right. Or we did. We came in with Emery, started with his vision. I, I remember walking in here, and it was just a warehouse, empty warehouse, and Emery was walking around and he's, I'm going to put it here. We're doing this here. We're going to put this there. We're going to do this here. And, and uh, we're just taking notes like, no problem, Emery. We're going to make it happen. Uh, you know, we come through and, and um, his vision, as you can see today, it really, it just pops. It, it came out so nice. Yeah, you, I mean, you did such a tremendous job. It looks so good in here. And Thank you. That's what we said about Emre. He's funny because he's a man that gets it done, you know? He definitely is. <laughs> he had a vision even for this beautiful podcast mm -hmm. studio, mm -hmm. what he wanted it to look like, and boom, it happened. And Absolutely. it looks great. It did. It came out amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and again, everything he does, does. So, yeah. you know. Very true. <laughs> What's, I want to dive deeper into this because I know you hang out with them a lot and they're we such do. a great couple. What have been some of your favorite personal stories getting to know both of them, really? So we met them several years ago. And um, honestly, we just clicked. Yeah, Emery and Andrea are family to us. We love them both dearly. Um, they love the kids. You know, so it's it's almost like when they come around, it's, you know, they're just family. It's natural, yeah. and, and we love that. You know, it's a great feeling um, to have such great friends like them. Mm -hmm. um, so more of a blessing, too, definitely. Um, Her son likes Emery more than me, I think, sometimes. <laughs> he, uh, you if know, you he, ask him he what he's going to do. He's away gonna, with kids. If you yeah, ask him what he's going to do when he grows up, he'll tell you he's going to he, work for Emery oh. in the... Uh, with the granite and stone and marble oh and all gosh. that. Funny story, Bryson, um, our son, he's seven. Mm -hmm. um, we actually, we have four kids. Bryson's seven. Uh, Layla just turned 13. Gabriella wow. just turned 14. And then Haley is the oldest. She'll be 21 next month. Wow. Yeah. So, oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Yes. And um, Bryson has a love for rocks and for stones. And um, he's, he's very well educated um, with that. And he, it's more self-taught for him and he just collects so he'll call emory it's funny this Emma is Andrea. incredible yeah absolutely i bet he will work here <laughs> he probably will but yeah he loves it he <laughs> wants to just come up here and explore and spend time with uh emory and i think that's really neat because um you know it, it it again it's hard to find 
that kind of connection, especially with your kids. Mm -hmm. So those two um, really enjoy talking with one another. And, they do. Um, they send each other emails. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, they do. They email, and then Bryson <laughs> FaceTimes them. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. He's oh, that's always. great. Uh, what, uh, what a great and beautiful thing, though, to have such a nice relationship because it's, it's hard to find good quality people. It yes. really is. And when it you is. do you got to hold on to them. Absolutely. Oh, for yeah. sure. And I mean, and it's amazing. The group of people that we hang around with here is, is amazing. Everyone from David Allen and, and your next guest, Simon, who we have a mm -hmm. great relationship with him and his family as well. And in the, the charities that we all come together for, there's not nothing that any one of us could ever bring up that, that the rest of us would not jump in with both feet and help out in any way that we could. So our group of friends is, is amazing. Yeah, we're definitely very blessed, you know, mm -hmm. um, with, with with all of them, our big group, and um, kind of like a big circle and a big uh, happy family. Yeah, so. I love it. And you go on beautiful trips together. I always love checking out where you guys <laughs> are heading to. <laughs> yeah, we do. We like to yeah. go south where it's oh, yeah. warmer. You know, now it's, it's of course, it's nice out, but... Um, down there, it's it's a whole nother nice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's you know like a little slice of heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh I yeah. I remember we met you through Emory at the yeah. uh, yeah. at the Pittsburgh Steelers gala right. yes. that we went to. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Uh -huh. That so, was so much fun. Yeah, he's definitely he's just an amazing guy. He just opens up opportunities and doors, and and I'll tell you, he's just just leads the way. You mm -hmm. know, and just get on the train and just ride it <laughs> yeah well you both have that in common you really oh, do you. and i i mean i love your story i love everything about your success story and how you got to where you are today i know you've helped so many people and that and that's a big part of both of you is you want to help others mm -hmm. have a successful career in life too absolutely oh. but yeah. uh, i'd like to say too i've always been very inspiring you know as my husband it you know the work relationship to <laughs> the <laughs> You know, home, I mean, that's, I, you know, I think a lot of people struggle, you know, with that, but um, he oh, is yeah. always doing for other people, and, um, you know, he's always coming home late because he's at, you know, meetings or something that he's supporting, you know, even with other kids, too, so it, it's great to see that he loves to give back, um, you know, and he is an inspiration, so and I love I love him for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Most, most days. Thank you. <laughs> most days, yeah. <laughs> But I, I truly believe that if, if we're not giving back, we're not doing it. You know, I, I feel like I took for so many years when I was younger that now I need to give back. You know, I, I feel that the, if somebody, if one person gets something from what I got to give, then I, I'm doing all right. You know, I try. Oh, and I think that's really the key to life and the key Absolutely. to success. Right. I, I believe so also. Yeah. I believe we just got to give. You know, there's no greater feeling than giving. Mm -hmm. You two yes. are too awesome. Oh, <laughs> you really are. Thanks. I could have you here all the time. You Jeez. need to co-host with me. Oh, I love that. You would be yeah. amazing. I, thank you. I would love that. <laughs> and you have a great voice, too. So do you, Bobby. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I hope well, I we're going to be singing. So oh, you, we are? Of Save course we are. You can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we always, I like to end singing the beautiful... Ooh, our Mina Stone jingle. Okay. So we, right, we need to it. harmonize and do it together. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll count us down. Okay, okay. here we go. In three, two, one. Ooh, Ooh our, our Mina Stone. Stone. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you have a nice voice, Megan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys are great. Megan thank Steele, you. Bobby Steele, RJ Steele Construction. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you. Thank you.